Today I'm going to teach you a one bottle sequence, all of these moves, all of the link, all of the linking moves that go with it. You're going to learn every single move step by step, how to link it together, how to make it look cool and how to finish it off like this. Yes. So let's get started. We're picking the bottle up off the bar like so, the bottle pickup. All you need to do is you're going to push the base of the bottle with your hand like this. So you're going to push, lift your hand up and the bottle will fall over the back of your hand. Then you just turn your hand down and grab it by the neck. Ready? Push, turn, grab. Now, quickly, one more time. Come on, let me see it one more time. Ooh, and then we'll move on to the next move, which is the flick forwards. Now this is the nice little linking move that you can use in any other sequence. And all you're doing is you're pushing the bottle, so you're pushing it up, giving it a little, little push push up over the back of your hand using your fingers and that bottle is going to fly forward you're going to grab it by the neck you want to once you grab it by the neck you just want to turn it down you don't want to keep it pouring see you turn it horizontal so you don't make any spillages okay so pick up flick forwards and grab by the neck and then go over the shoulder behind the back so over the shoulder two and a half spins and you're going to catch pour spout down neck down behind your back. Now the trick here, if you see, I'm gonna throw the bottle from that position, my hand just goes to the other side of my body, the other side of my waist, and then I turn my body. See, I throw facing sideways, I twist my body facing the camera. If you do those two motions, two and a half spins, bish bash bosh, you're gonna get this move really easily. Really nice move to perform, feels really good. Then we're gonna move on to the shadow pass. The shadow pass. Now the key for this trick is it's a blind catch, okay? I know it looks like I can see the catch, but I cannot. You follow the bottle all the way back behind your head, and you see how I'm slightly moving my body. See, I throw, ready, throw, move my body forwards. My other hand is open on the other side, ready to catch. If you do that, you'll find this move much easier. It can be quite scary, but just throw it behind the back of your head. Don't throw it at your head, that'd be stupid, okay? Ready, catch by the body of the bottle because then the next move is gonna to link together much nicely. As you catch, you bring your hand down. Watch, I'm gonna show you pick up, flick forward, over the shoulder behind the back, shadow pass, hand down, and then up behind the back. See, that just helps things link together more nicely. We wanna make it look pretty. Now this behind the back is just a flat throw, you see? Throw up, flat, slightly move that shoulder forward, you ready? Shoulder comes forward ever so slightly to open up the back and the other hand, who's gonna be there to catch the bottle? You've gotta catch the bottle. And when you catch the bottle, you wanna catch it by the body of the bottle because again, we wanna link this all together really nicely. You don't wanna to have to readjust anything in your hands. Catch by the body of the bottle. So pick up, flick forward, over the shoulder, behind the back. Shadow pass, behind the back, watch this. Ooh, finger roll, an upside down helicopter finger roll snazziness. Tricky one to get, but you're gonna swing your arm up, swing the bottle for a spin, let it spin around your finger like so and catch, right? It's quite, it's quite tricky to get. You gotta open up all those fingers except for the index finger. You should practice doing that move without, without the bottle and you'll get it and it'll roll around your hand, ready? See how everything flows down, up, over, behind the back, finger roll, behind your head, down the arm, a roll down the arm. So look, we follow the momentum of the finger roll, come up behind our head, and then we just, as we're bringing our hand down our arm, we let go of the bottle and let the bottle roll down our arm. Don't straight your arm out. See, my arm is nice and relaxed, nice and bent. And then as it rolls down, I've got time to follow it. It rolls down nicely and then catch it in the same hand. And I want to catch by the body of the bottle for another finger roll. All right, this one's more tricky and it's also a blind catch. But we're lifting the bottle up, letting it drop around the index finger and then catching it by the neck of the bottle. Super cool move to do, all right? And takes a bit of practice, but you're gonna get it. And then we're gonna swing up, boom, hand stall. Hello. I've done videos on hand stalls, so you, I'll leave it up in the corner there, a link for you to go and check out how to do hand stalls. But we're throwing up and then we're, watch, throw up, slight step back, catch it on the same hand. Throw up, slight step back to look at the bottle, cushion the catch on the same hand. Ready? Swing, step, cushion, thank you very much. And then that's going to lead us on to our last move. So once you've cushioned that, you want to 
control it, and then boom, slide your fingers out. Now the key here is once you've got the hand saw, you wanna jump the bottle to your fingers so that your bottle is right on the fingertips and then you just whop, just whip your fingers out. Ready? Huh? Simple as that. Takes a bit of practice, but you'll get it. And this is what it looks like. Now, try those out for yourself. Let me know if you liked this video. If you did, tell me in the comments, which was your favorite move? Do you wanna see more videos like this? Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you.